Exactly. These are meaningful, spontaneous. I honestly didn't know that you wanted this. And no, wanted that's a, I surprised you. I would have been more spunky. <laughs> spunky? I would have been more Kelly Ripa like. Because Kelly Ripa is spunky. Oh my god. She's spunky. Our first month of Curacao diving certainly did not disappoint. Thanks to great tank fills and an equal passion for diving from Don at Rebel Diving Curacao, our average dive time for guided shore dives was just under 75 minutes. Non-guided times with just Leslie and I was even longer. We have seen some absolutely fantastic dive sites, including the very dramatic pier next to Tugboat Beach and the exciting wall at Director's Bay. Further west, Boca Sammy has a large, flat, shallow area with lots of sand, rock, and small coral that has a ton of sea life. Every week, Don shows us even more beautiful sights, and we can't wait to share the best with you. We also thought it might be interesting to share some behind-the-scenes information in a quick segment we're calling Stats and Facts. This month, we made 36 dives between the two of us, some in less than ideal conditions. I shot over 700 video clips, and Leslie took more than 300 photos. Check out our online galleries and photo of the week at tropiclens.com. Curacao had an unprecedented three island-wide power outages, totaling more than 40 hours. The last one knocked out our internet and TV for four days, and we had to get a new modem. Sadly, I lost my hat. The new one has a rim all around, as well as a neck flap. Redheads, you know. Also, Leslie battled the cold for over a week. My snorkel for the past few years developed a hole in the flexible tubing, so I had to pick up a replacement. With more shore diving, some of which occurs on rocky terrain, we decided to pick up some dive boots with thicker soles. Unfortunately, my Backscatter Plus 10 close-up lens got nicked. Fortunately, it only impacts the edge, but I ordered a replacement to get some redundancy. Let us know if you'd like to see more of this type of content in the comments section below. Anyway, on to the December video clips. But in case you're new to these, here is the standard spiel. These are the top 15 highlights. This month includes several new animal sightings. Well, for us at least. We caught a couple of filefish competing for territory and a free-floating anemone. And they're not ranked, just enumerated. Oh, and please subscribe. We are a small channel, but hoping to grow. Tell your friends, or else I'll have to tattoo more things underwater. Smiley face. We took a boat all the way down to East Point at the southern tip of Curacao to see some of the less traveled dive sites. It was well worth it to see four magnificent spotted eagle rays. During the surface interval on that same trip, we anchored in a small bay which apparently is the only spot on Curacao to see cushioned sea stars. There were so many! Our dive guide spotted this as we were coming back from the Boca Sami Reef. No one in the group knew what it was, so she tracked it down. It is a spaghetti worm, and from the tentacle length, the body size may be three to four inches below the sand. We've noticed that the island has quite a few anemone, including a few we haven't yet seen. This one with a fringe on the edges is called a beaded anemone. Speaking of anemone, on our way back from Bokasami, we saw this red warty anemone that seemed to be floundering in the surge. Despite several attempts to provide an anchor, we were running out of air and had to let it go. Bokasami will definitely get its own shore diving video because we saw so many things there. 
On one dive, we didn't even get a chance to drop down before someone in our group noticed this large school of white mullets. One of the most dramatic sights we've ever seen is the pier at Tugboat Beach. The sheer size of the chains, ropes, and pier columns is amazing. Diving under the pier is so dark, it's almost like diving at night. While diving in the shallows at Tugboat Beach, I noticed some frenetic activity below me and saw it was a couple of orange-spotted filefish in an apparent territorial dispute. I've not seen those bright blue colors before. Leslie spotted this little guy swimming around the base of a pier column and neither of us recognized it. The yellow face and chest are the markings of a cherub fish, which is the first time we've ever seen one. We see trumpet fish all the time, but this is a cornet fish. They're closely related, but cornet fish can grow up to three times longer. This one was between four and five feet. My grandmother used to bring me shells like these from Florida when I was young. Now I can say I've seen them in the wild. These are called white banded marganella. Leslie and I are big fans of anemone due to the creatures that call them home. Curacao is the first place we've seen banded clinging crabs nestled among the tentacles. We see adult smooth trunkfish on just about every dive, but juveniles are quite rare. We've only been here about a month and have already seen three. These are about the size of a pea. They're so cute! This spotted cleaner shrimp was either coming out to greet me or telling me to stay away from his anemone. I can't really tell which. Finally, what would December be without Christmas tree worms? 